well, it's a dark, rainy uh, summer morning. It's actually June 1st. Can't believe it's June already. Uh, we're heading over to the Rocky Creek area in the Ozark National Scenic Riverway. And I'm going to retake a couple of those creek scenes. And I want to add a river scene over there using the uh, Portland soft focus lens. So uh, we're going to head over and do that. And we'll see how it goes.
Hey, Tim Layton here, uh, making a platinum and palladium from this uh, HP5 negative right here, shot on the Graflex Series B with the Portland soft focus lens. I just did uh, an exposure step in 20 second increments here, and uh, you're gonna see it real time with me. We're walking over to the wet area, and we're gonna throw some ammonium citrate a developer on here and we'll see what happens together. I'll pick a time that hopefully is in this range. I am seeing a latent image in here so that might be a good sign. I'll throw this in here and then um, we'll go and make the real print and then adjust contrast or whatever we might need to do. So here we go. All right. So looks like uh, we're gonna have something to work with here. Definitely in this 100 seconds to 120 second range. So anyway, let me uh, just kind of clear this out a little bit and then uh, take a peek at it and then uh, go uh, make the uh, full print. All right, I just rinsed this off just for a couple minutes. I will fully clear this. Uh, you can see the time. So this will be in reverse. This is um, because I, I wasn't sure how many wedges I was going to make. So 20 is, or 120 is really 20, and 20 is really 120. So I'm looking at this, um, you know, I'm wanting this very pictorialist look and feeling uh, for this work. That's why I picked that lens and um, did the things the way I did. So I'm going to go with this uh, last band of 120 and see what the contrast looks like in that. So I'm going to go make that, and uh, I'll come back and show the development and then clear it and dry it and then we'll come back. All right, I just pulled this out of the printer, UV printer. It's my UV printer over here. See the lights underneath there? They moved this, that's uh, like I said, that's an HP5 negative developed in HC110B. Uh, and that was in my Graflex uh, Series B with the Portland soft focus lens. And this is uh, the little whisper, the latent image. All right, let's just keep this real time. Let's go over here. And uh, we kind of guessed on our tab strip that it would be two minutes. And uh, there's our test strip. That's the two minute mark right here. This particular scene, I'm calling it scene number one, um, there's a whole story which uh, goes along with this image because it aligns to the narrative and artist statement for Pictorial Whispers. This is um, kind of visualizing this ethereal, soft, uh, late 19th century at the height of pictorialism. This is what I'm visualizing. So, uh, yep, I got that ready. Here we go. Yeah. I'll let that stand there for about a minute and then I'll pull that out. I develop all of my platinum and palladium for two full minutes. Yeah, it's got nice contrast, uh, good tones. There's not a lot you can't see probably as well as I can see here, but there's a lot of variables here while I'm waiting for this minute to expire. Uh, you know, this is Arches 310 paper. Um, this is, uh, you know, with HP uh, 5 developed for a certain density and contrast. You know, there's a lot that goes into being able to get the expressive work that you want. And this scene was just so magical uh, that morning. It's, you'll see that it was kind of dark over to the right side, the light coming through the river. Um, and that's the nice thing about platinum and palladium. It really is such a delicate, beautiful process that it really helps express um, all of these concepts and ideas. All right, so we're at one minute there. I can pull this out for a second and look at it here. You can get a better idea of, yeah, look at that. See, you've got the darker tones over here. You got the light coming through. It, it just caught all of that. It's just spectacular. I'm really, really happy with where this stands. So what I'm gonna do here is I will just cut for now I've got to go through a very regimented archival workflow here for clearing this. I'm going to get through it, fully uh, wash it in the archival washer, and um, then I'll 
come back at a later time and um, do this. I'm actually going to print this a couple different ways, but different sets of chemistry. And uh, I'll bring you along on a lot of that. Now, all the details are much more like pictures and clips and things like that are on the website, timlaytonfineart.com. And uh, I just don't want these videos just droning on forever, but there's just a lot to cover, right? So anyway, thanks for following along. I appreciate it. And I think we've got a success here with the first one out of the gate for Pictorial Whispers. And um, I would mention that um, I'm actually photographing mostly the wild horses. Uh, this is uh, part of the landscape of where they go down early in the morning, see, and they, uh, they drink out of this river here. And it's just a spectacular place to be. And uh, I'm including the landscape in this whole series. So, um, it, you know, and it's very difficult, I'll tell you, to photograph wild horses with large formats. So uh, landscapes seem like a child's play compared to that. So I'm, I'm really excited to show you some of those as I print them. So anyway, take care, timlatonfineart.com, and I'll see you soon.